we're going to kind of walk through some of the reasons why I um, am saying that it's a conflicted armoire. Uh, the picture on the left is how it was initially. So as you can see, it's very black, white, and gray, and it's painted in a very straightforward geometrical way. It has the color choices and the way that they were applied on has a feeling of an industrial type of vibe. And if you look at the piece itself, it is definitely not a modern geometrical piece. It's very ornate and detailed. And I mean, you can maybe not even see some of the details with the way that it's painted. Right. I mean, I'm looking at those drawers there. They're black. And although I, I love modern furniture, and so when I see this, I'm like, ooh, New York City, you know, you know, it's got that, you know, the, those old industrial warehouse buildings that have been turned into these condos. I think that's awesome. I love that style, and I'm really attracted to this piece. But, I mean, let's be honest. Look at those, those black drawers. Look at the middle part that has a black. You really can't see the detail. And really, our first tip to help you out here with the overwhelm, take the photo change it to a grayscale or a black and white photo. Look at the picture on the right, which we've done for you. See how much more detail that you can see in this piece. Um, a lot more starts to come out. Yes, like in the right on the grayscale photo, you can see the beautiful ornate detail on the drawers and the little trim that goes around the, on the doors of which you can't even tell that there's any detail in the trim on the black and white piece. So when we turn it into a grayscale, it starts showing us the characteristics of that piece. So when I turn it to grayscale, a black and white photo, it takes the overwhelm of the conflict out. And then I look at that grayscale and the first things that come to my mind are what I note down. So when I first would look at this, I would note the characteristics of all the ornate detail. So that piece is screaming to me that it wants that ornate detail highlighted. When I look at it in the grayscale, I can see what it what that piece deserves. So back to our that theory. This turning your picture into just a grayscale can really help you pinpoint and pick out that piece's highlights. And kind of going, let's go a little bit deeper here. Um, you know, I'm kind of thinking like, okay, well, okay, I, I get this, but you know, if I'm the designer of this armoire and I'm really digging the white and the black, one thing we have to remember is oftentimes when we're flipping pieces of furniture, they're not going in our home. We kind of have to somewhat kind of put, you know, within us to the side, not out of this inside, but in us, still hold on to your creativity and your desire, but know that you're not buying this piece of furniture. Um, if you're painting it for your house, by all means, do what you want. But I, you know, let's just kind of look at the left picture for a second. And let's say, okay, I'm going to continue designing it in the black and the white and making it modern industrial. Mm -hmm. I have to ask myself these questions now. That piece goes into an industrial, modern, styled home. Mm -hmm. That home is most likely to have straight, solid colored furniture. That home is likely to have white and black. Uh, that home is likely to have maybe one other bold color, either red or a teal, somewhere mixed in. And so you can, in your mind, you can argue yourself into this. You can say that piece will go in a modern home. And that's not false. It absolutely will. But you also have to ask, look at your, look at the market trend side. How many people are looking for, looking at buying a traditional piece of furniture in a modern style to put in their home with other modern furniture. There are people and they're out there and they will buy it and they'll pay good money for it. But in this, when we think about trying to sell it quickly, trying to move it quicker, that's where we want to ask those other questions. Like that piece deserves the ornate areas to be detailed. So